All right. There are many things you can get for free, and all it takes is a little time and a little effort. One of those things for us, grapes. One of my customers had a grapevine that produced really well because of all the rain this year. And he said, if you want them, come get them. So we did. We went and got almost 30 pounds of grapes and there was still more off of just two vines. Huge producers. I'm thinking grapes might be a good investment in time and energy to get started on the property. But in the meantime, we can get them for free. So I bought 30 pounds of grapes and we're going to make jelly. So I wanted to show you how we do that. This again, another first time thing for me. So we'll see how it goes. But let's get to it. The first thing we did when we got home was pick them all off the stems. Now I have a coworker who doesn't even do that and she just leaves them on the stems, but there was some that had some spider webs and stuff in it um, and some some ones that weren't weren't very very happy anymore and yes I have quite a few green ones because there's lots of extra natural sugars in the green ones and I'm hoping that'll help with the set I'm still gonna use pectin because I've never done this before I don't know if you can do it without pectin, but we're gonna see. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use pectin with this. So first thing I did was take them all off the stems. I took a little over two hours. Woohoo! Put on a good movie and just start picking. All right. Next, we washed and crushed them, and I have two batches in some stock pots. Now. The directions for this recipe say, and even um, in the directions for the pectin, say to do it in small batches. So we're doing five pound batches. That's what the recipe I found called for. Um, because we're going to extract the juice. So we're going to bring this to a boil and then turn the heat down and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Same with this one here. So once that gets complete, we'll go to the next step. So they are both done simmering. See this one still has the fruit and pulp in it. This one, we have strained the juice. I just scooped it all into this mesh, um, mesh vegetable bag and squeezed as much juice out as I could. There's more juice in this pulp, but goodness gracious, it's wicked hot. So, what I'm gonna do, I have my bowl that I started straining the juice with. I'm going to set this over here and let it cool down a little, and then I'll strain the rest of the juice out. Look at all of that juice. Oh, and I wish you could smell this because it smells so good. So, I'm going to finish getting the juice out. I'm going to do the same with this one, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so now that both pots have all the juice strained out, I'm using two different kinds of pectin because that's what I have. So I have a package of powdered pectin I mix with about a quarter cup of sugar make it easier to mix in. So I'll put this in here, stir it well enough, and bring it to a boil. Once it hits the boil, I add the rest of the sugar and bring it back to a boil. We're doing seven cups of sugar for these. This one here is the Sure Gel Liquid Pectin. So this says to add the sugar first, bring to a boil, and then add the pectin bring it and bring it back to a boil. So that's what we're going to do. Going to get these going and hopefully it'll all gel up nice. So let's do it. Here's what we have so far. 10 pounds 
gave me 10 pints of jelly. Problem is, I can't fit 10 pints of jelly in my canner. I can only fit 8. So I've got two on the side, keeping it close, hoping that they don't cool enough to start setting because I don't know if them heating back up to be processed is going to affect my set because I didn't think ahead and get this water hot and boiling before I put them in, as you can see. So it's got to boil. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that doesn't mess it up. But there's nothing I can do about it now. And we'll have to wait and see. So 10 for 10, that's not bad. And I still have all of these and tomatoes and salsa to make. There is twice that many tomatoes in my fridge right now. So today is nothing but a canning day.